that many students with funds to pay for tuition as well as accommodation. Fresh from delivering his State of the Nation address to teeing off on the golf course. It's an annual game aimed at fundraising for needy students. Business people arrive in large numbers to support the cause. Whatever else that we get from this <clears throat> game goes to the Education Trust to help uh, poor kids in particular. And ever since <clears throat> I came in, we have helped a number of children. Uh, and I think it is absolutely a good initiative because it is a partnership between government, the department in particular under the leadership of the minister here, <clears throat> and the business people who come here as well as, as, as the media. We think it is a good initiative that shows that we need also, whilst we are doing everything we can do, to have something that we can give to the poor people, to those who are disadvantaged. So it is absolutely an important thing that we all come uh, whilst having listened to <clears throat> the State of the Nation address, the following day we come here relaxing, uh, doing this important kind of uh, initiative that supports uh, the poor people. While his game seems to be improving slowly, his colleagues are also playing their part, all for a good cause. This event actually covers about 40-45% of our annual budget. Mm. Therefore, uh, as we continue during the year to raise more funds, at least an important base exists with, with I mean, an event like this. And, and you would uh, also remember that many of our students have actually completed the tertiary levels and they've gone out to actually work uh, in the private sector. And many of the private sector companies have actually employed some of these kids and therefore, in turn, they continue to contribute in the life of the trust. And the day is concluded with a fundraising dinner. Musandilembech, SAPC News, Cape Town.